what is going on boys and girls of youtube so we're back at it we're doing this hardest off-roll god series all right so that's this is this is what we're doing this was your all's idea pulled it straight out of the comments we got mid lane which is going to make this interesting but with mid lane we've seen in the sbl there's been some interesting mid lane gods come out and one of them actually makes a lot of sense and is the one i decided to go with and since we're probably not going to see assassin in any other role it is honestly pretty cool that it is a mid something that can be played in the mid lane and possibly is the best true off roll mid laner like like this is not meant to be the mid lane this is not a hunter this is not a mage this is not a guardian building a mage build this is an assassin going an assassin build in the mid lane so let's get into it hope you guys like the video hit the subscribe button if you haven't make sure you're liking the video i looked yesterday and it was like 30.8 percent of viewers who watch most of the time of the videos aren't even subscribed so hit the subscribe button quit trolling me yeah just do it let's get into this video also make sure you're liking the video All right, so we're going to Zana mid. One thing that's nice is we don't get to go jungle starter. We're going blue stone and we're going right into transcendence after that. And we want a lot of health potions, to be honest, because if we don't have the health potions, we might get bullied really, really, really hard. Uh, this is also going to be spicy because our jungle pick is mercury. We have virtually no synergy. Um, yeah, so that's going to be cool. We are against a Merlin who's somebody we could actually kind of stick to really easily, but they have triple knockups before adding in the Awelix of knockup and the Awelix ult. So this is going to be hard to play with no beats, uh, but I am not scared. So we didn't go beans. Not worried about it. Still leveling our three as we would anyway. And I didn't remember to pick up this red buff. Good job. There we go. We're out of here. I'll probably just throw, I don't even know. I was gonna say, maybe I'll just throw my three and then go to mid, but in reality, I don't know that would change much. That's all we'll do. It insta died anyway, because we could teleport to the three and get it on a shorter cooldown, but we would have definitely missed a creep here. Uh, oh, he's using the animation. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> I was like, who is this a bit? Why is he just letting me clear? I think he doesn't know how to play Merlin or he would have fire swapped already. We have a lot of control here, which is nice. He's playing insanely passive for a character that should have had pressure. Here we go, really good beats. That's good for him to get beats for me because now I can just kill him. Server feels a little laggy. What we got going on here? So the goal with this is to basically uh, not lose lane pressure if possible for the early game. Like if you decide to try this, you're pretty much just focusing on on either killing that person or if they're playing super bad, far back then you're clearing because they'll out clear you every good like he should be out clearing me he's just bad just straight up he's bad he's only using frost stance he didn't fire swap to get insta clear he's trying to poke because he doesn't know any better um in this situation he just doesn't know what he's doing uh what so we're gonna start poking back at him a little bit here well at least he's in mid finally not really worried about the Awilix right now. We have really high mobility. We could probably even kill somebody, to be honest. Nice job. Yeah, they, 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 he wants to kill me. He's not using abilities. If he uses abilities, you can kind of... You can kind of clear and be safe, like clearing in their face. But since he's holding his abilities, it's not safe. I need to chill. You, you gotta chill. Go in the red. Let him have it. No, 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 no. Oh, he stole it. You're a beast. I'm not sure what he's doing. I think his dash might be down. Oh, it's so unfortunate. I might be able to kill him. Jungler hasn't even started his speed yet. <laughs> so we're actually really safe now that he hasn't done his speed. So we end up getting a free kill on the Merlin because of his late, slightly lazy back. Uh, I don't know what that was. But my Mercury ends up getting my speed. So while I do get a kill there, I am not going to get red XP, which sucks. 
Red XP is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, and we're completely um, with the tower, the wave under the tower. So we're going to back up. We're going to go start Transcendence. Give us a little more power, a little more sustain. Get another health pot so we aren't getting completely bullied. And uh, yeah, we're just going to head on out of base and get back to doing what we're doing. We... As Suzano, you're going to have really good matchups against so many mages because your three can follow them. So, like, Suzano is a hard counter to Janus because you can follow Janus through the portal. Um, you're anyone who's got a, a buildup of damage, so like Merlin's like insta burst, right? It's like a buildup. You can really interrupt all that, that whole buildup of damage with your knockout from your alt, with your pull from your two, with your movement. It makes it really hard to land, right? Where someone like a Scylla could be really difficult because the Scylla hits a root on you mid, you know, mid engagement, you're gonna just get clapped by that Scylla. So it's gonna instantly do the damage. There's no avoiding it, right? So while Scylla and Burst Mages are maybe a matchup you want to avoid, that's a like a matchup that's not hyper common. We want him to go back in on us if he will. Oh yeah, look at this. We might live here. We're tanking creeps though, so we might not. Yeah, we're gonna die to creeps. Unfortunate. Nice, he gets the kill. Oh, he's, he's kind of trolling me. Uh, all right, he definitely gets the kill here. He's holding, so my Mercury's holding his dash, which is smart because he's waiting for the Merlin to dash. So he gets a free kill. Nice job. Sadly, I don't get an assist, which would have given me extra gold, which would have been nice, but we do have enough for Transcendence. If we didn't have enough for Transcendence, I'd have been really sad I didn't get an assist there. Weird engagement from the Wheelix, but as Suzano, usually your problem in the jungle is that you're lacking a little bit of early power from Bumbus because you go Bumbus starter. We don't have that problem. We have Bluestone. Bluestone does a ton of damage. Is that a free invade? Hopefully he secures it. Legendary. Nice job. So we don't have that issue, which is one thing that will kind of be your advantage the whole time that you are playing uh, Suzano mid because people are expecting a certain amount of damage, the amount of damage you would do as a jungler, but you're not a jungler. So as long as you recognize how much damage you can do, like where I was, I, I can kill this wheelie. He's level four. He's the freest kill of my life. That's all you do. I'm, I'm really not sure what this Bacchus is doing, to be honest. This is just very strange. He's wasting his time. Uh, I have a huge lead right now. We're going to go for red. If he comes over this wall, we're killing him. And I think he will come over this wall. Never mind. He's not coming over the wall. <laughs> Surprising. Oh, never mind. I thought he was gonna go right. Got a full wave here, so we gotta be a little careful. We're gonna disengage quickly. We don't want to take any extra damage. Uh, I would love the back, but I'm drunk. See the see the Wheelix. That Wheelix should be who they're collapsing on. Yeah, it's kind of a free free kill. Yeah. Nice blink from him. There we go, got his dash. I, I Blink did that to try to get the Mercury to have an angle for the ult. And I think he would have had it, but I don't think he recognized that the Blink happened. Also, with Bluestone, you have so much regen. I'm already full health again. Yes, I got a heal from Horus, but... Easy peasy. We're gonna pull this guy. Great play from the boys, dude. Beautiful rotation from Hades. Amazing Horus alt into the back to, to disrupt that Merlin. That was that was a really clean team fight, considering there is no comps. Like, like that was beautiful. Team listened to the ping, basically. They saw that I pinged. They paid attention to it. They went in. This Mercury is playing, um, like, great. Really, really good. I see a lot of Mercury's play bad lately, so it's cool to see one not, not, not playing like trash. That guy's out. I don't want to. Ch I shouldn't have chased over here. I'm missing a little bit of XP. He was definitely not going to fight that. He's completely oom. He just secured his red and lost a lot of health doing it. We're going to back. So we're going to go Transcendence into. You can go Hydras or Jotuns. I'm going to go for Jotuns so my clear is a little bit, you know, impacted by it. Um, having faster clear, more clear, more spam, it will be big. Plus the fact I'm not going to go Soul Eater and we don't have a CDR starter. I don't know why we're still fighting. Maybe to keep them from surrendering. Z, 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 Z. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, so close. 
I'm gonna fight this. I have my ult in seven seconds. They're doing gold. Oh, that was pretty easy, to say the least. All right. How did he just ult me from the front? That was crazy. Oh man, that was close. They all end up dying there. <laughs> and we got a fat ult into the fat triple pool. If Mercury had been around when I hit that combo to ult, I don't know what happened. I don't know. I think Bacchus might've run at him. So he couldn't do it or somebody, I don't know, maybe it was a Bacchus. Something happened. If Mercury had ulted off of my ult combo, that would have been, like they would have insta died. We would have been able to do gold. It would have been insane. They were burning that gold really fast. Also, good play from there, Wheelix there. He knocked me up from the front by turning sideways. So what you do is you'd walk up like this is, he walked up to them like this and you just turn and throw it. And if you're in their face, when you turn and throw, it'll knock him up. That's basically what happened because he was looking right at me. He just kind of got a slight angle. So good play from him. I'm also sad I don't get my red buff. Or did I lose my red buff? I think I don't get it. I think somebody dropped it. And that somebody would be Mercury. All right, now we got CDR from the Transcendence. We have CDR from the Jotuns. Our ult's going to be on a very short cooldown compared to what it was. Oh, they're doing red. This box is just super annoying. Oh, uh, that heal is so nice. I think is it really not? Oh, he went back to mid. Why did you save him? Nice job. I'm glad he got me in the way he did. And then the fact that he didn't do anything stupid, he just went for the, the poke was beautiful. Good damage, dude. This horse, I, I really like the way this play, horse is playing. He's going to go to his speed and I'm going to go kill him. My ult's already back up in 10 seconds. I feel like I just used it. Easy peasy. Susano, I didn't even go for the auto attack cancels after that because I wanted to get the abilities off to get the movement and ended up working out. Bacchus didn't get the stun off in time. And then we're just taking this farm. We'll go to mid afterwards. I think I might have missed that. And we have Hydra's 2 whenever we want to back, just waiting for us, which is good. 31 HP 5. It's crazy. You regen just ridiculously fast. I'm, I'm looking to back here, so I'm not going to stress over tanking these creeps a little bit. All missing middle. They might go from red to the oracles. And if that happens, I feel bad for the dude, but I got to back get my item going. You want to maintain the power spikes. Every time you can get a tier two and safely back and not miss farm or anything and not leave your teammates out, like, out to dry, do it. That's a power spike. It's not the biggest power spike, but going from no power to an extra 20 power, 5% cooldown and a high mini hydras proc is insane. Like that's a lot of extra damage. Uh, can we fight this? I can also get beads now, which is good. I wish I had my beads. He's dead though, so that's good. We want to avoid the knockup and the extra damage. Unfortunate for him. Nice play. I was going to hover the wall there and then throw my two out, but he hit me with the three over the wall perfectly. Really sucks that Horus wasn't there. Probably our farty probably just backed. Also would have been cool if our ADC rotated in, but the last time he died, he cried. And said ZZZZ, so there's no way he's going to rotate to any more fights. I could probably go kill the Medusa. I'm not jungling. My Mercury should be farming their Medusa. It's the easiest gank of his life because you can stop 
Medusa from dashing. You can block the dash, and it's a very, very easy dash to block. Um, you should just be ulting up the lane and killing him on cooldown to give this ADC a lead so they can go for objectives. If you ever want to leave the base faster, this is how you do it. Throw the three out, hit your two twice, press three, and then one again. You come out at full mana and get as much distance as you can. If you guys ever wanted to know. He was fighting. Kind of a weird fight. I just did a lot of damage. I can't move. If I wasn't drunk, I'd be so down to fight here. Back kill. I'm gonna go back to farming. We're not gonna look for chasing too much. It's a really bad habit to get into where you you know you know people are kind of low elsewhere. So you start, you know, moving around the map and playing for that. You don't need to. You, you can just play for the farm and the stuff that's guaranteed. Like this free little invade on red buff. I love me the enemy team's red buff. And their mid's even afraid to walk up here. So that's extra bonus points for us. So much farm. So he's level 12. We're about to be level 14. He might hit 13 off the wave. We'll, we'll pay attention to that, but he... Shouldn't. Yeah, he didn't. He's still level 12. He's lost a lot of XP in this game, and I also have nine kills, so I should be able to maintain my lead pretty easily. The only reason my lead isn't a little bit higher is because I've missed out on red XP, I think, three times, maybe? We're sitting on full Hydras. Would love to get vision. Oof. All right. <laughs> so Merc went to go in, or when I went to go in. Oh, I just took so much damage. <laughs> that Wheelix hits a lot harder than I thought he did. He has Hydras and he's 5-5. Five and five. And he's the same level as me. I didn't respect that. I really should have respected that. A lot more than I did. <laughs> he did a lot of damage right there. Uh, we could go Serrated, but they're kind of squishy. The tier has no defense. The Bach is a little tanky, but he's behind. I think I'm just going to go to Heart, uh, heart Seeker. So right there was a greedy fight for me because I didn't respect that Awelix did anything. I was thinking if I shut down Merlin, no damage, but the Awelix, it's hard. Who would have thought? Uh, let's see what we can get out of this duo lane. They're fighting. I can't see. I don't think Merlin's there. I hope they're rotating through here, but my team isn't telling me. There's Bacchus. The red's coming up. I think we just saw Merlin for like a split second. I did not mean to miss that. I'll tell you that. He flopped me? Oh, that's why. That sucks. Should have beads it. I was did not expect him to flop me there at all. I really wasn't. Oh, good day. Well, that's not good. Oh. Oh. Okay. He missed. But you're good. You're good. Save your dash for the Mer for the the Medusa. This is this is you. This this Mercury's gigantic. I have faith. Just auto him. Don't. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Nice. That's yes. That's good. That's good. Keep autoing. Keep autoing. Yes. Yes. It's fine. Time your auto. Time your autos. Yes. Nice job. Let's go, baby. I knew he could do it. I had faith from the beginning. Good man. Hades is here too. This is Jeej. My Mercury is now massive. He had to have just gotten like 2k gold. That boy's about to be chonking. He's level 17 now. I'm only level 14. What a beast. What an absolute beast. Uh, see, Horus saw it too. He saw the quad. The Merc had, had a better ult. He kind of hesitated and allowed them to move out of it. I hate that this guy just did that to me. My solo laner, who is gigantic, by the way, just took all my farm. What a jerk. And you can see where I was talking about build-up damage in a mage versus Suzano. Also, playing Suzano, you are a build-up assassin. It takes a, a second to get your damage going, right? So these gods with interrupt or these gods that can kind of just play super patient, they have an advantage. The, the Wigs can wait for that, that pluck and play around that every time. 
Plus the Bacchus is kind of just sitting, running wherever I go, or oh, like, oh, I don't know what it is. It's like me and the Bacchus meet up no matter what. We're up 5k, we haven't done Gold Fury. Not really sure what's going on here. Gonna get another ward up. Notice how I put most of my wards in this spot. It's kind of been my spot to ward. Not sure what's going on here. So we can get him to dash, and then if we can get the Mercury to go right in off of that, off of that, he gets a free kill every time. Oh no, he got out of range. That sucks. He's so low. I'm playing up because my Horus is diving. Him diving is scary. Hades is here, so it's a little less scary. The ADC is apparently... Oh, there's the ADC. I just messed up. I went to turn to dash through the Medusa, and I knew I was going to get a Wheel Exalted as soon as that happened. Nice. Good. Triple, baby? Huge. They all collapsed on each other, I guess. I, I, pretty, I know a Wheel and Medusa were standing right on top of each other, and I'm assuming Bacchus flopped in to help. And they all just got dropped. Beautiful. Yeah, that's cool, guys. Mid lane assassin mage. I'm top damage. And I, that ult was just out of range to kill the Merlin, which made me sad. I, I didn't want to throw it out, to be honest. But I could tell Mercury was going to, like, be screwed. I knew there was no way he killed Merlin without dying. So I was like, all right, I got to throw it out. I got to try. We're super close to Hydra's. I'm going to wait as I'm only 100 gold off. Or not Hydra's, Heartseeker. This guy's actually a free kill. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That polyproc? Hades is cracked right now with these lifesteal builds, dude. I played against one the other day. And in the 2cc, so he would auto me, he would 2 me. And I would just, like, I, I wouldn't get to play the game again. I would die. I was playing Hunt Bats. I was having a really good game, too. I had, like, 15 kills or something. I just got super trolled. We said be careful and backed off when we did not need to be careful and back off. The second my ult went down, that should have been Hades looking to fight with me. But it's all good. A lot of people, it's all good. No, I don't think that's on Mercury, to be honest. I think, there we go. Hades gets the kills anyway. Nice job. Hades just kind of kind of got scared of the fight and there's no world where we're scared of the fight there with Tyr being dead. It, it's a free fight. You're fine. You're fine. You're oh, you're not fine. That beads was a really bad beads. He beads. He, I don't know why he didn't beads when he got pulled. Now <laughs> that I think about it. That's crazy. All right. So I wanted to talk about this since we have a little bit of downtime here. Um, predecessor. If you guys don't know what that is, it's another third person MOBA. It's based off of the old Paragon game. It's coming out tonight at 3 a.m. On top of that, this is uh, December 1st at 3 a.m. is when it comes out. Eastern. Then on top of that, Overprime the Paragon, or Paragon the Overprime, which is Overprime, another game based off of Paragon. A name change to Paragon. So it is now the old Paragon, I guess, in, but new. I know I'm confusing you. It comes out on the 8th. So you got both these games coming out if you don't know. If you do know, I'm debating. I posted a couple videos on the main channel and then on my Weekend Games channel. It's just been loaded with content for these games. Uh, I'm going to be doing guides. I'm going to be kind of doing like my thing with it and giving as much information out as possible. I'm going to have a decision to make whether I want to focus that content to the main channel or I want to keep it on the games channel um, and just play around that. This guy is really ballsy. Oh, I'm dead. I didn't knock him up. That's great. I don't know how I didn't knock him up, but I didn't knock him up. Misplay. A little bit of a misplay. Uh, but yeah, that was that was crazy that that didn't knock it up. I left it down for like, maybe it was, maybe I need to leave it down for another like 0.1 seconds. Had to have been close. This is another good engage though. Nice. Keep fighting, boys. That Merlin's out of position. He's the shortest dash ever. Nice. Just literally drop right on top of him. Yep. Don't go, Hades. Don't go. No, Hades doesn't go there. No world where Hades goes. He just stays and fights. Nice. 
here went in for no reason probably gonna wait for to finish my starter we don't really need the pen like we talked about earlier mercury's getting poked from every direction just auto buddy just auto this is your moment you're good you're good you're good he missed this one nice nice guys they're playing with each other so perfectly i don't know how i'm top damage though because i'm i'm getting clapped in the beginning of some of these fights next fight i need to let my teammates engage so i can kind of do what i want and not die plus the hades is a little bit tankier now i need a bar and a half of xp so yeah i was talking about it i'm i'm gonna like like i said the weekend games channel is heavily focused on those other games but if I'm mainly streaming those games until, you know, Worlds and into Season 10 of Smite, um, I'm going to have to make some choices. I will see how it goes. I'm interested in what you guys, you know, if you guys are going to be playing the game or whatever. I think I kill this guy. I'm going to agree with this. But yeah, I'm interested in what you guys think. If you guys are gonna be playing those games, uh, my viewership on Twitch was like double what it usually what it has been for Smite for the past two to three months. Uh, so there is a lot of interest in the game. I just don't know if you guys are interested in those games or if you're just gonna wait uh, around for Smite to make their big changes coming for season ten. Because we already know season ten of Smite, it's gonna have major changes and, and bring some life back to the game. I'm not dumb. I expect it. I know I'm going to love it. That's just what happens. It uh, plays out every time. So I know what's going to happen with that. I just don't know what you guys' thoughts are. Uh, there's a good chance we just keep doing our daily uploads for Smite. And then come... Uh, we're going to go serrated, I think. And then come... Season 10. The, the content will ramp it up. We'll do guides and everything like we talked about. And then I'll just keep predecessor paragon whichever one i decide to play a little bit more of uh to the games channel there's a very very good chance we do that and it let if viewership is nuts though if you guys are loving it then we're gonna be putting you know that same effort i almost I feel like i almost want to go pick up speed putting that same effort into those games that we've done for smy for years all right i think we go right boys still top damage i don't have a quadra i don't have a triple the Hades is five and two and has a triple kill. <laughs> gaming. Straight gaming. What's the On my way. Merc shouldn't be looking for anything too greedy here. It doesn't really make a lot of sense for him to do anything over the top when we just have fire and free waves to push. 11, 7 11. Did I go for a Slurpee right now? I'm not gonna lie. I, I stopped. I literally cold turkey just was like, I'm not gonna eat sugar for a while as long as I can. Like, like I, I no extra sugar of any kind, uh, no sweets, nothing, nothing like that. Like, literally, not putting, not drinking coffee. Oh, oh. not a, oh. I got, okay, we got bolts. We got a, so what, where's our team? This is really, really awkward, and I really do appreciate my boy. No, I'm drunk. Ooh. Where's our team? I appreciate that Horus. He's actually like the homie. Like, truly, that Horus is goaded. I really like him. All right, we're going to get this tower. I think. Okay, we're not. Not yet. <laughs> where's my team left tower is gonna go down to the the trebuchet and the boat buff creeps but i don't know if we get this nice pulled him right into the hades gaming good stuff all right merlin's back up i kind of want to go for him but like i said i need to let my team engage a little bit more Oh, we did get mid-Phoenix. I didn't even realize that. That's my bad. Mercury must have gotten mid-Phoenix with Hades or something and then died. I don't know. Realistically, you heavy grouping right there as a team. Our team fight is insane. We have Hades ult. We have my ult. You have Mercury ult. You have CERN ult. Uh, just, just the team coverage and the lane coverage you have from those ults pretty much makes it so any team fight anywhere in a singular area is in your favor. 
Let me just end. Oh no! I got him killed though. That was a misplay on my part a little bit. No, they're all up. End the game, folks. End the game. We have three Phoenixes. Nice. They, ended, they surrendered. Thank goodness. End it with top damage. I think Suzano. Uh, so if you guys didn't know Pagan, he's a professional mid laner. He pulled this out for anyone. I'm pretty sure that I've, I mean, other people have done it over the years, but he did it in a semi, you know, competitive fashion, uh, which is cool to see that it, it's possible. And it's really fun. Like it, it, it's really fun. So shout out to him for, uh, for paving the way for some Suzano mid. I didn't only out damage everybody. I nearly doubled everyone's damage. Their tier only had 6,000 damage done, by the way. All right. Sorry, pal. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Hardest all for all series started with the mid lane. Hit the like button if you liked it. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you in the video later tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and the next day.